also my duty. Sudanese Prime Minister Abdallah Hamdok is trying to help end the conflict in Tigray. This news comes after a phone call with U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken. I was pleased to speak with Prime Minister Hamdok today. We agreed to work together and with our international partners to facilitate steps toward a peaceful resolution of the conflict in Ethiopia, as well as full humanitarian access to those in need. They also discussed Eritrean troop movements in Ethiopia and Sudan's hosting of tens of thousands of refugees from the conflict. Hamduk told the Sudan Tribune that he was in touch with the Ethiopian government and Tigrayan leaders. He told the newspaper and Blinken that he was actively trying to mediate the dispute. The Sudanese leader also informed the International Agency on Development, EGAD, France, Eritrea, and some other friendly nations of his negotiating efforts. Ethiopia's Minister for Democracy, Zadig Abraha, has ruled out talks with the Tigrayans, labeling them a terrorist group. The director of the U.S. Agency for International Development, Samantha Power, also spoke to Hamdok this week as she visited Khartoum. On Wednesday, she flew to Addis Ababa, where she was reportedly unsuccessfully seeking a meeting with Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed. While she was there, she announced an American donation of $720 million to help fight COVID-19 in Africa. Power also reiterated her calls for humanitarian access to Tigray. Ethiopia continued to project strength in its fight with the Tigrayans. Photos of freshly graduated military trainees in Amhara State were circulated Thursday. State President Agagnu Teshagar recently called on local youth to defend the nation. Officials say the new soldiers are now ready for deployment. Tigray got a boost Thursday from a military leader in the neighboring Afar state. Mahmoud Mohammed, deputy commander of the Afar Special Forces, announced he is joining the Tigray ranks. In a clip posted on social media, Mohammed said that the Afar people are supporting their neighbors. Points out that the two states fought together to remove the communist Derg regime in the early 90s. ADN TV will continue to report on political and security developments in the Horn of Africa.